We're here at Goldsmith for the night. Going to set off tomorrow at six in the morning to catch the tide. We weighed anchor and are on our way now. South. The trouble is the wind uh, is from the southeast at the moment. So we're uh, looking over there is Brampton and Carlisle where the wind's coming from. Anyway, we're going to put our sails up in a minute and uh, just start sailing. I can't uh, afford the go juice this early in the trip so uh, we'll just have to see where the wind takes us today. Looking behind is where we've come from. And it's nice uh, to be down here editing movies with the boat uh, being sailed by my son. We're coming up to St. Bees. Keswick Island is in front. On our beam is Brampton Island, Carlisle Island. And over the stern is Mackay. I'm trying to download a movie, but the last time I looked, I spent an hour downloading 3%. So, uh, in a couple of weeks time, you might be without a movie. I'm anchored just inside the channel in St. Bees in about 12 metres of water and hopefully we're not in any coral. I was the first one here and now there's two catamarans this side of me. And looking in front there's another catamaran and then the boys up there where I was before have got uh, boats on them as well and you go round and looking north basically there's three boats in that bay over there I kind of looked in that bay a bit didn't go in as far as they have and there's three boats over there two of them are catamarans and one's a sailing boat uh, I was liking to go to Scarfell today but uh, the wind was right on the nose yeah, we're in cruising mode for going home now. Since there aren't any whales around, I'm deflating my dinghy. Uh, the big Genoa hasn't been out the bag for two years now, and uh, I don't know, I think it won't come on another trip. I might try and find a smaller sail out of my sail wardrobe at home. Mackay is basically over there behind and the sun is setting we've left Keswick and St. Bees behind and now we're heading south not sure where at the moment we're just uh, heading towards the Percy Islands at the moment and we'll just see what happens with the wind. Well, this is the first time I've got this jib, the big jib out in two years. And uh, it's actually doing quite a good job at the moment. It's keeping us up with two catamarans behind. So we're heading today for Percy Island if the wind holds up. Otherwise we're uh, heading Otherwise, we're going to go for uh, what's it called? Curly. Curlu Island, which is a bit further down. But uh, so any, everything's going well at the moment. We've had one cup of coffee. We set off. We heard other people starting off at four, four o'clock. Got one boat in front, and everybody else is behind us now. Jack, you know, he's just come from the city, applying a bit of sunscreen. 
and there's the jib. It still looks all right actually and I thought it might disintegrate as soon as we took it out of the bag. At the moment we're only doing 3.2 knots which is a bit pitiful but uh, that, that's the best we're going to get at the moment. 11 o'clock we've got Purdo Island on the beam. There's one little person fishing in there in a runabout. Bloody long way to come out from Mackay. And I've got this big Genoa still coasting us along at about four knots in not very much wind. Or Prudo. Just gonna clear it, hopefully. Well, we've just got, I've gone past the end of Prudo now and uh, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going south best I can at the moment. Uh, it's going pretty well, the sun's pretty hot, but I bought this Cedarburg shop shirt from, uh, from Anaconda and it's really, actually really cool. It's quite good and uh, most expensive shirt that I've bought. Anyway, I'm going to pass the boat over to my son in a minute and it's his uh, turn to do his hour. It's very hard to sail when you've uh, got a large Genoa on and you're trying to go on a between a reach and to windward uh, in the kind of patches here. Got a few uh, tuna around so I'm going to try and get my uh, mackerel line going as well. We're taking it hour in, hour off. And my, it's my son Jack's uh, go at the moment on the helm. We're not far off the rum line. Heading towards Percy Island. 32 miles to go. Passing Digby, where I anchored on the way up in that beach in there. Coming back from up the front. He doesn't show a plumber's crack like me. Pardon? Snow is really drawing at the moment. We just get in and you speak the box and get about an extra knot on the house. About 10 miles off now, the first We're doing about seven and a half knots. We started off with full full buckets of water here. And after we caught a shark, the shark got his revenge and knocked over two buckets. There's a few dolphins on the bow. There's loads more coming. background.
get many days like this when we've got uh, a good 10 knots of breeze and uh, there's no waves. Two protein lines out the back. I don't think of any of them have done any good today. I'm going to pull them in in a minute. Here's Jack. He's having a lovely sail to Percy Island. We're doing about seven knots. He's got, he's modeling a, a, a new Katmandu shirt and a mountain view hat. I'm out here on the uh, main cabin top, having a good look around and uh, in front at about nine miles now is the Percy Islands. So we should be there in about an hour and a half. So it's coming into Percy Island. Cracking along. You're looking there into West Bay. And there looks to be uh, four or five boats in there tonight. Under the main is Little Percy Island. And we're just getting here before, well, we'll be, by the time we've anchored, it'll be sunset. This is, this is where we are. There's the boat. Cracking along at about 7.7 .7 knots at least anyway. Got a full main up. And the jib. Oh damn, just playing with the camera just then, I've missed the sunset. Went down in the clouds. Little Percy into the sun. Last night we got here just after dark. <laughs> 